name is Communion, and I do Catholic rap for God's glory. That song that I was just privileged to, to sing is called I Believe, and I have it in three languages now, English, Spanish, Italian, and I'm working on the Portuguese version right now. I want to translate it to all the languages that I possibly can so that the message of the gospel can get out there to the youth. So for God's glory, that song between the English and Spanish versions on YouTube has almost three and a half million views. Glory to God. And that's like the mission that God has given me to empower this generation of youth with God's truth and with faith. You know, faith is so powerful. The theme of this Congress is believe, have faith. And you know what's crazy? So many times we live our lives with a defeated attitude. So many times we let the devil steal our joy, steal our hope, steal our peace. But you know what Jesus says in John 10, verse 10? The devil came to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come, says Jesus, that you may have life and life in abundance. I want you to repeat that because the power of God's word is so powerful and impacting. Say, God has given me a life in abundance. God has given me a life in abundance. And that's what this next song is about. It's called Life. Here we go. Because this is life, so you must always live it to the limit with joyful spirit. Bring it, let your love and be infinite. Write a song and then go sing it. Live every minute. I woke up in the morning, it's a brand new day. What can I say? No longer feeling like life is tough. Feel like I just won a hundred billion bucks. I hit the jackpot, cause God loves me. That's what's up. Even though I ain't got no honey or a lot of money, I got Jesus in my life. He makes my world sunny and that's all that I need. He's the bread that I eat and the air that I breathe. Dear Lord, thank you. I pray for the gift of life that you've given me today. Please bless all my family from New York all the way to L.A. I used to have a bad attitude. Now I live in gratitude and I'm happy, no longer crappy. And I smile every time I see Gabby, my niece. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with love, joy, and peace. Because this is life. This is life. So you must always live it. To the limit with joyful spirit, bring it. Let your love and be infinite. Write a song and then go sing it. Live every minute. The glory of God is man fully alive. To be a man of virtue, I thoroughly strive. Trying to be all that I could be, the best version of me. In the army of G-O-D, trying to strive to be holy. Some compete for the wreath that will cease. I compete for the heavenly trophy. The one that is imperishable and never fades away. For that, I battle day to day. To see the face of Christ is the greatest prize. To share his life in paradise, eternal life. The human mind has conceived nothing. What God has prepared for those who love him. The joys of heaven keep my heart aflame. It's worth every suffering and pain. I'm focused on the Lord and heaven is my aim. Life is Christ and death is gain. So let's rid ourselves of every stain and live life for the sake of his name. Because this is life. So you must always live it. To the limit with joyful spirit. Bring it. Let your love and be infinite. Write a song and then go sing it. Live every minute. Dun, 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 dun.
God promised us a life in abundance. He opened up the kingdom and we are the incumbents. We are kings and we are already triumphant. The devil has been thrown into a dungeon. So don't cower. God has given us his authority and power to be victorious at every hour. God's grace will suffice to defeat every vice. You can do all things through Christ. Do you realize how much blessings he's given? For you, Jesus died on the cross and is risen. So listen, God chose you for a special mission to set the world on fire with the love of Christ the Messiah. Your future's full of hope like Jeremiah. Don't you doubt like Zechariah. May your life bear fruit by the hundreds. And may you always live a life in abundance. Cause this is life. So you must always live it. To the limit with joyful spirit. Bring it. Let your love and be infinite. Write a song and then go sing it. Live every minute. Dun, 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 dun. Praise be Jesus Christ. Testimonio. Was well, I already told you, um, I go by the name of communion, and I picked that name because God created us to live in communion with him and in communion with our brothers and sisters. And when we receive holy communion, that's when we enter into that deep communion with Jesus. Amen? So my real name is Alvaro Vega. <laughs> and I'm really privileged to say that I come from a very Catholic family where my mom and dad raised my three brothers and I in the Catholic faith. So we prayed together as a family. We went to Mass on Sundays. And my parents taught me the importance of putting God first in your, fa in your life. How many of you come from Catholic families where your parents instilled those virtues? That's a gift from God. Don't take that for granted. As a kid, I was super shy, believe it or not. Now, God's sense of humor, now he has me in front of crowds, like speaking and stuff, you know? But growing up, I was like that quiet kid in school, never really spoke, didn't have a lot of friends. And little by little, my life, starting in my childhood and going on through the years, my life started plunging into depression and into anger. Had a lot of hatred inside my heart. When I was 17 years old, I heard this rapper Eminem and it's like a little light bulb went off in my head. I said, that's what I want to do in life. So I, I want to be just like him. So I started rapping, but I was making music about stupid things and with bad language, influencing a lot of kids in the process. Got a little bit of, of fame on the internet my, my music videos blew up with millions of views. But before I could really become famous, God brought it to a stop. The funny thing is, even though I was trying to go after my dreams in making music, I wanted everything that this world offers, money, fame. Even though I was striving after my dreams, I wasn't happy in life. I felt so empty, and it was because I didn't have God. So one day in tears, I asked the Lord to show me his will for my life. Sometime after, God spoke to me, 
through this book called The Imitation of Christ. And he said to me, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? It's Mark 8, verse 36. I realized right then and there that if that had been the last day of my life on this earth, I wasn't going to make it to heaven. You see, I was Catholic. I grew up, was born and raised. I knew the faith intellectually. I knew about Jesus, but I didn't know Jesus. It's a big difference. I would go to Mass on Sundays, but I was just going through the motions. And so right then and there, I made the biggest decision of my life. I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ. I prayed to the Lord with tears in my eyes and I said, Lord, I no longer want to live my life for me. I now want to live for you. As soon as I said that prayer, I felt this profound peace that came into my life, something I had never before experienced, the presence of the Holy Spirit, the presence of God. And I was just filled with so much joy and, and love. It was unreal. From that day, my life has not been the same since. And the Lord even healed me miraculously. He took away my depression. He took away my anger. He even healed me of a digestive problem that I had, a serious urinary and digestive problem. Healed me completely. Glory to God. Let's give him the praise. And he healed me of an addiction that I had to looking at impure images on the internet. I think you know what I'm talking about. But he took away completely the desire to even want to look at that stuff. So God's power is real to break chains, to bring transformation to our lives. If you're real with God, he's going to be real with you. Amen. And so basically, I fell in love with Jesus Christ. I fell in love with him. I'm not ashamed to say that I love Jesus. How many of you love Jesus? Make some noise for the Lord. So my prayer life intensified and I started going to retreats left and right, prayer groups started going to daily mass and started going to confession with a truly repentant heart to change my life around. And God showed me his purpose for my life, to become a saint, to become holy, to use my gifts for him, and he even called me to the priesthood. And so, I entered seminary within a year to become a priest. I was in the seminary for about five and a half years. I discerned out at the moment. And now in the last few years, I've been dedicating myself to music ministry, to preaching the gospel through music. And I hope one day to be able to enter a religious community and who knows, maybe one day I'll be a rapping priest. But I want to encourage you guys, because what God did for me, what God has done for so many people, he can do for you as well. You know, the Bible says that God is no respecter of persons. That means that God doesn't treat one person more special than another person. He will do the same for anybody if you have faith in him, 
if you believe in him, if you surrender your life to him, he will do amazing things for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's make some noise for Jesus.